hello friends today i'm going to show you a uh, one real time dba task which i have faced in my uh, shift okay so like one of my customer is performing like disaster recovery in voice infrastructure level so he is going to ask us and to when we need to once the disaster is completed uh, we need to check the sql servers are on or online or not and the database are came online or not once it is on then we uh, like uh, he is allowed he asked us uh, to enable the monitoring tools on that otherwise is so there there is like so many disturbance tickets will get generated he is going he has already provided uh, the gem ser the servers names and as well as instance names in the excel sheet for us okay and so first we need to connect to the gem server from there we can you be uh, before that uh, the script okay we are going to distribute that uh, sql server names to our people who are there in shift so once they uh, we came uh, we uh, once we decided to use the powershell script and so the work has been drastically reduced and only one person has, is going one person uh, allocated to this task and he is going to complete within like 5 to 10 minutes only okay so that's how that this script is helpful to to our job okay so right now i will show you one thing so as a, to mimic the situation i have created one dc node 1 and node 2 right now i don't have jump server you can consider node 1 as my jump server okay so here i have the, this is my os level all in my system all are default instance only so that's why i given like node 1 node 2 as a like uh, these are the host names okay when you install default instances the host name becomes as server sql server names okay that is the one thing so here the script that we are going to uh, fetch the server list from this uh, okay slash dollar slash servers and we are continuing in the loop okay so that it will fetch the status okay from that now click execute now see uh, not only SQL Server, so it uh, it all fetching the re reporting services, agent, MS SQL, everything it is going to fetch. So it is going to fetch what are the services that there is with the name of SQL, and it is going to fill not to filter SQL browser telemetry and SQL services. Okay, so you can modify what are that uh, should come in the result. Okay, before uh, if you have these kind of scenarios, and you better to check the scripts in advance so that you can modify as per your needs. Right now, see the node one connected and all are running only. Let's uh, can uh, like I will show you one. I will add one name instance node node three. Okay, there is no node three as of now. Okay, online. So let's see how the error could be so that you can uh, better aware how the error will come. Node one node. So these are node one and node two got uh, showed, but it is waiting for node three. Okay, so let's see what what is the error uh, that we might get. So it got when struck here. So we came to know that node 3, I mean, there are some issues are there with node 3. Okay, so meanwhile, it will take time and we will move to the next node, our next issue. So once we, we, we know that, that like what are the issues that we are writing, right? Okay, so now our job is like we need to fit the databases as well. Okay, so we have stopped that and let's see and now we are coming to this thing go to server low i uh, just like i want to mention the named instance as well how it is going to take okay now so we uh, uh, like uh, we are going to fetch the database status as well press uh, shift see node 1 all the databases are online node 2 databases are also online node 1 this uh, 2014 master all the databases are in online so this is how you came you can came to know 
all the databases are on, up and running or not so that's how uh, it works so I'm going to fetch the names as well uh, in this so this script will work to test the SQL server uh, to test the SQL server uh, status either in online or not this will tell the this script will work uh, whether it is like um, uh, if you go in named instance or whatever it could be it will uh, it will uh, it will fetch the database status and it will inform you so i hope uh, so using these two scripts you might finish the work within five to ten minutes only i'm going to provide the scripts in our google drive and as well in the comment box i hope you might like this video uh, give thumbs up and subscribe button and help us to do more videos thank you bye